Hi guys, in this particular video we're going to have a look at how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. So improper fractions, also known as top heavy fractions, is when the top number, like so, is actually bigger than the bottom number. So we call that improper or top heavy. And the idea is to put it to a mixed number which looks something like the right hand side. So to do that, we see how many fives go into 23. Now if you're good at your times tables, that's quite nice and easy. If you're a bit unsure, you can just write out your five times table really quickly. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And hopefully you can see when well, it goes in one, two, three, four times, but not five because obviously 25 is bigger than 23. So it goes in four times, so four whole times. But what's left over? Well, if it goes in four times, I get to 20. I've got 23, so there's three left over, and your denominator stays the same as five. Exactly the same thing here. I ask myself, how many nines go into 16? So again, if you're a bit unsure of your times tables, just write them out. Well, nine, 18, but I can stop there because I've only got to go up to 16. So in this particular case, nine goes into 16 one whole times, but what's left over? Well goes in once, I'm at 9, what's left over to get to 16, so 7 and your denominator stays the same. Exactly the same with this one, how many 4's go into 39, so you can write out your 4 times table if you want to, but if you're good at your times tables, and you should be, you can see that 4 goes into 39 9 times, and then what's left over, 3 and your denominator, the denominator stays the same at 4. Okay, so that's how to go from an improper or top heavy to a mixed fraction. So the other part you do is go from a mixed fraction, sorry, mixed number to an improper or top heavy fraction. Now to do that, all you do is do this whole number here and you times it by the denominator. So I'm doing 5 times 2, which is 10, and once you've done that, you then add the top number. So my 10 plus 1 in this case equals 11. So the 11 here is your top number, your numerator, and as before, your denominator stays the same. Let's have a go at this one. 2 times 3, so 2 times 3 is 6. Add the top number. So 6 plus 2 is 8, and again, that's your numerator, your top number is 8, and then your denominator is the same, so it's 3. So last one, 4 times 5, so 4 times 5 is 20, then add the top number, so 20 plus 2 is 22. And again, that's your numerator, your top number, and your denominator there is 5, so it stays the same at 5. So hopefully that helps.